Hi everybody. Have you ever had one of those projects? I don't know if you if you work at the projects the way that I do. But have you ever had one of those projects when you say, "I'm going to um, this is going to be quick. I'm gonna all I need to do is blam blam blam, and then I'm gonna be done." Well, this is one of those. I thought this was gonna be very very um, quick and dirty. It ended up being dirty, alright, but the 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 thing about it is that I got this at um at a yard sale, of course. And I say of course because if you if you follow if you've been following my channel, you'll see that we um we go almost every weekend to the garage sales. Uh, yard sales, flea markets, so on and so on. We find some incredible stuff. Um, last week was one of those, and one of the things that I found was this old Sears Craftsman um, tool chest. Um, I got it for 20 bucks. It was rusted, very rusted. What you see here is like one day's worth of work is very um it's 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 very different from the way that it was a few hours uh, ago um and the thing about it is that this is a labor of love i mean i i i don't i don't plan to sell this or anything like that because when i first got it it was it was just it was horrible i i knew that this 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 box was like calling me and telling me please you know help me and you know i'm all about the call so there it is um this 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 box is i don't i think is from from this i can tell you that this is around uh, circa 1975 or so maybe maybe stretching towards uh, 1980s um, because this is this tack weld in here and is and it has um, the rivets and um, and and then there are the the um, these guys the, the the drawers the drawers the drawers are um and back in the 60s and early 70s they they were like regular cabinet pools so is so i know it's not 60s and is and is in and in, in, in the and the rivets they started being very um popular back in the 70s when you were doing projects so yeah this this is 70s so again it was it was in really rough shape I mean this is this is a vast improvement from what it was and of course I plan to 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 um, to do more work on it and I plan to um, to 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 paint it I did some work in the front over here this was all this 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 all was all bent and um, and so I did I did some uh some some trying to I try to straighten it out. I can see there's still a little bend there. You you can see right right alongside this lip. And um again I I plan to to uh to fix it up but that bend came from actually working on the lock area. Um when I got this one of the one of the slides was already broken and that that these these guys they lock the uh the drawers so they are they the, there's two of them left it works um there I still got two rods that go on these on these um on these they right there and they their function, I think, is to keep um, sockets up there. 
you can kind of thread the sockets through the through the rods. So um, I thought that it, I I reached the point where I thought to myself that I would regret it if I didn't um, document this because the 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 difference is 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 fast. It's um it's incredible. I mean there was there was I almost I almost um uh, second guess myself in thinking that it wasn't worth twenty dollars. I noticed if I did a full restoration that a full restoration entails and getting the exact paint that craftsmen use for this and using the same process of um of of of, of metal of, of um metal priming to um to get the, the that 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 finish that that they had. Now it's it's funny because here I was thinking as I'm I'm working on this how craftsmen um they they um they did the, the the whole full lifetime warranty and all of that. I don't know if 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 it would have been covered by uh, for the rust that it had. Um, I still have more of this of this um, of this finish to 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 take out. The the interior there was incredibly bad. Um, again, you you start working on these things and you start having your doubts because. The, the the type of shape that it was 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 kind of beyond what I was thinking that I, w I was willing to you know to invest my time in however as I progressed I realized that it would have been it would have been a, 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 a shame not to not to work on this because it's the, the, the workmanship on this is incredible to begin with so um I'm gonna continue working on this. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the the um stripping it. Um I've been using some uh air aircraft remover. I just ran out of it so I'm thinking do I go get more or do I continue this um just sanding it by hand. So we'll see what happens. Um although it, uh, I thought for for five seconds to actually completely strip it to the to the to the to the metal and then just um, doing a um, a clear coat because you have to admit it does look sharp if it was if it was completely like that. Who knows? Let me uh, strip it completely and see what happens. And here we go. This is. Shiny. shiny this is a hammered finish this is um I don't want to here we go eh. that's, one of them. that's one of them so 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 I used a copper and this 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 camera really does not do it justice, do it justice. It really doesn't, but look at that. It's very pretty. It is. It is. It came out. Now I was expecting something like this. I I I I actually did, you know, get it into my mind to just do a, a half decent job on this. I mean, this 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 was very very um. That's because this it's is closed. Oh. This. Oh, look at that. Very smooth. It's very smooth. I, I, I worked on the tracks. I worked on the holes. Worked on the hinges. I, um, there was a casualty here. This one was too far rusted. And uh, I decided to just uh, do away with it. But there are two of the locks. And those locks, they engage when the lid is closed. So you can't open the... The, the well, that the way course. when you move it, it doesn't slide around. Right, when you when you roll it around. So this the the the, the, the lock area apparently somebody lost the, the the key to the lock, and they banged the hell out of it. 
I worked on it for hours and that's that's the best I could get because it's it was um it was the lock was totally destroyed and um and this this um this already had some signs of um of um uh metal fatigue so I didn't want to go any further however it does have a very smooth uh finish um of course after after painting it um I did it the same way that I would do a car completely wet sanded the whole thing and then this was the, the the part that was the worst this was very very rusted so uh, I did strip it to the metal I did do some rust reforming so the um once once uh once I got down to the metal and got to the to the parts that was rusted I did the the the, the treatment so it wouldn't rust again then pr uh, primered it I did a primer, uh, a filler primer. Um, it's um, it's a, I, I believe it's a polyurethane type of uh, of uh, primer. So then, I did a um, um, a, a sanding of the primer. Then did the the the, the filler, and then did the, the started doing the coats of the of the hammered finish. After the hammered finish, coat coating were done. I took um I, I did some wet sanding. I sanded it with a thousand uh, a thousand grit um paper by hand with water. Then I did the, the final two coats. After that, I coated the whole thing with polyurethane um clear a uh, clear coat. And then um I did some compounding. I compounded the all the metal, you know, all the all the all the surfaces. And then after compounding, I did a, a waxing, and that's why it's it's, it's, it's the reason why it's, it's it came out as shiny. it's it's not the shininess. It's the it's, it's it's the um if you if you if you rub rub your hand against them, you see how it's, smooth. it's very smooth, and um and that's very very important because it's not gonna rust again. And if if I do once in a while a little a little um, cleaning and uh, and and waxing, every time you wax it, it's gonna it's gonna protect it even more against the banging of tools and stuff like that. So I'm gonna I'm going to um, put that in the back where the all the other tools are. And um, yeah, um, some of the some of the drawers were banged up pretty bad. And even though I I worked it and I I do some I did some metal bending and stuff, it still came out the way it did. I'm not complaining. This this here is a very um. Uh, it was it took me about what two weeks. Mm -hmm. Took me two weeks to uh to restore this. I don't know if you want to call it a restoration job because um I I do. Uh, I've never never seen a a copper color um on um craftsman um toolboxes but um uh, Margaret picked out that color and I like it. So we're good to go. Any any comments? You know what to do. Um any suggestions, whatever, let us know. Uh subscribe. You know the drill and I'll see you on the next one.